So we've had a bit of a bad day in the uh, world of old Milwaukee brush tools. This is my uh, three-year-old M18 BPD drill driver, two-speed drill driver. And uh, today, That happened. <laughs> It'll become less drill driver and more smoke machine. So, we've already started. Let's pull it apart, have a look inside, see what's going wrong. I've got a sneaking suspicion I know one reason why it cooked itself. Um, but we'll get it apart and we'll have a look on the inside. So the first thing you want to do is take the chuck gearbox mech out which comes out with the four screws in the front here two three four and that's just enter straight into a planetary gearbox with a two speed selector it just locks the planetaries together on two stages anyway it's not what we're looking at we're looking at this tragic mess inside here So if you see up the top all the insulation's burnt off that set of windings. I slipped a battery back in. Crackly and crunchy inside there because it's uh, overheating. Let's get the rest of the case apart so we can have a look at the back. Okay, because I don't have any long deep uh, T10s with the um, center hole in them, I'm gonna have to actually remove the motor out of the case separately. So it's got these couple of terminations here. Just on the back of the uh, DC motor here. I gotta be careful, I can't actually touch the motor, it's that hot. I've grown, grown fond of my thumbs, so we're not gonna, uh, gonna go ahead and cook my fingers for no reason. I have to find my crappy little camera stand. A bit hard with one hand. I'll come back, I'll just get this motor undone. Down here on the back side of this motor, can you see, can you see what's going wrong? All the fan blades have disappeared. That's why it cooked itself. Couldn't even feel hot air coming out of it when I was using it. Obviously because the you know, only hot air that would come out would be through convection. More general, like just a bit of air blowing through the side of the case and out the other side. Poor things had no cooling. So, looking at that, the cooling um, drags air around the gearbox through the center of these windings. Come back. The desk is very level, it's rolled clean away. As you can see by these windings that are. Uh, black and cooked compared to the other ones. Surprisingly it's still got good brushes in it. Very good actually. This is three years of everyday use. I'm a plumber. I use it for hole saws and all kinds of stuff like that. Not much for like fixing with screws. I've got impact drivers for that. But hole saws and uh, spade bits and things. This has done a lot of that kind of work. Bearings front and back spin nice and freely. Um, but in saying that the fans destroyed itself, I reckon a bit of dirt or a rock or something's got in there, or something from the toolbox that's got in there, a little screw maybe, 
and broke all the fins off. They're not in the case anymore, so they've shaken out of whenever they've broken, but uh, there you go. If you see your fans' fins kick kick out of your case, be prepared to buy a new drill. This one's a, this one's a smoke machine now. She's not going to be a drill again. It's unfortunate. Um, means I have to buy a new one. I'm thinking I might buy the M12 fuel drill. I'm really enjoying using the M12 gear, so I might buy one of them. I don't really have a need for an 18 volt drill. I uh, quite often use my. I've got a fixed tech chucked. Um, what do you call them? Rotary hammer drill. The big rotary hammer drill. Brushless one. So I use that for any high torque, lower speed drilling, because that only does about 800 or 1200 RPM. It's only so compared to these that do like 1800. But yeah, there you go. It's even uh, made the. Is it still called a stator? It's not a stators on generators. It's made the um, contactor on the armature there, anyhow. A funky colour to the uh, purpley colour on the end of the brush pack there. So it's been exceptionally hot in there, which will have done irreparable damage to that cable, the windings cable. So that will always be different from now. Probably always different marginally, but now, yeah, they're never going to be the same. Let's just see if I can push this out of here. And I can. So there's some more, a bit more of a view of the damage. There's an amazing permanent magnet outer ring. Yeah, keep the dirt and dust out of the back of your drill so that uh, the fan doesn't destroy itself. This is the lesson of the day. If I pick up another one of these, it's got a busted uh, front end. Though, I do have a complete front end to put in one. Or if you need a front end to put in one, send me a message. We can get your drill going again. That's an M18BPD. That's the, uh, I did yeah, M18 brushed. It'd be known. It's known as a Gen 2, Generation 2 brushed drill. So it's a small one. It's pretty dirty inside too. No rust, which is good. It means I've kept it dry. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll get hold of a uh, driver that can get into those two, because it's a pain not being able to get them undone. If you remember with the uh, 18 volt Makita battery packs, I used to get the drill and just use the drill bit to open the hole up so I could get that sh the shaft of the driver in there. Anyway, I'll open that up and uh, salvage the trigger and the speed controller mechanism out of that. And then what we'll do is we'll cut this base off through here and screw the base back together and use the base for a uh, retrofitting style of uh, thing maybe even to a light bar or some LED work lights or something got a couple of LED spotlights that would make uh, a pretty powerful area work light that I could just clip that base on and use my Milwaukee batteries so sad day but uh, it didn't fail because it was something Milwaukee did failed from uh, three years of hard work just to be clear thanks heaps for watching everyone I'll, uh, when I get the second half of the drill open, I'll uh, show you what's inside there too. Catch you next time.